We all know the term made in the USA, but how many of us are really buying American made products? We're going to go inside this house of an eight new staff member and see what we can find. So this is a KitchenAid stand mixer. You'll find one in just about every kitchen here in the US. We wanted to know where it was made and take a look. You can see the sticker on the bottom. It says assembled in the US, but it doesn't actually tell us where the parts came from. We begin our search in the kitchen with this Whirlpool microwave. It says made in PRC. That's People's Republic of China. Cuisinart toaster made in China. Keurig coffee maker brewed in China. In the family room, it's more of the same. This Panasonic plasma TV assembled in Mexico. This lamp, this picture frame, these plastic children's toys, this vase advertising Southern living at home, all made in China. And that's not all. So a decorative clock here, it says Madison Clock Company. We flip it over to see where it was made. Right there, you can see it says made in China. And the mechanism actually running the clock, it also says made in China. Even the American Girl Dolls, which celebrate women throughout different time periods of U.S. history, she's an import too. It says it right here, made in China. Now, we were pleasantly surprised when we started digging around in the furniture. Take a look right under the cushion here. You can see the tag. And it says, made in the USA by Albany Industries Incorporated, New Albany, Mississippi. Other than the furniture inside the house, we didn't find much that was made in the USA. But out here in the garage, we did a little bit better. We found several tools and lawn maintenance items bearing the Made in the USA logo. But most of the inexpensive products throughout the home were made abroad. The highest quality product, the lowest possible price. I mean, it's the Walmart effect. Dr. Van Wood is a professor of international marketing at VCU. We showed him our findings. What you saw us finding in the house, does that surprise you? No, it really doesn't. Dr. Wood says the idea of Made in America is far more complex than it seems. That a foreign label doesn't necessarily mean that a U.S. company and our economy have been shut out. It's quite all right that you have a, a, a shirt manufactured in Bangladesh or India or Guatemala, but if it's been designed in America and then marketed in America and a brand name has an American uh, logo on it that resonates with the, the public at large, that's where the money is. So how often can you find the Made in the USA logo here in Colonial Williamsburg? We've been out buying souvenirs. We'll have that part of the story tonight on 8 News at 530. Morgan Dean, 8 News.